Hey ladies and gents, I just wanted to give you some details around UFL and more importantly the UFL gameplay trailer which will be played later today. First up they have struck a partnership deal with Rangers to be licensed in the game. Personally I'd rather a solid edit mode over licenses because there's a huge community that will carry the burden of that. Sure it shouldn't be expected but we as consumers shouldn't be expecting new companies to take the world by storm and steal the FIFA license because it's a huge sum of money and with UFL being a brand new football game that risk would simply be too great. Either way licenses are nice for the fans of that team for sure and to gain their interest and it just helps build the hype for the game. Now I want to talk about the UFL gameplay trailer which is going to be coming out later tonight which is so it's going to be live at 8 p.m. GMT on the official UFL channel. They're going to be sending out different links to streamers and content creators like myself. However, my stream, I'm afraid, is going to be delayed until around 9 p.m. GMT. Uh, I'm afraid, you know, I chose to play football in real life over watching the UFL trailer. And you can't blame me because I'm actually in a red hot vein of form right now. Uh, I scored seven goals just yesterday. And... Uh, so yeah, I, I can't wait to play tonight. So I do apologize that I am going to be delayed. So make sure you're checking out my channel around 9 p.m., maybe a little bit earlier. But if you want to capture my initial reaction and feedback, that's the time you want to start watching. What are you going to see in today's gameplay trailer? Well, if you've been watching the trailers for some of my favorite football games in the background, it's unlikely we'll see a proper dynamic wide camera or any type of game cam. We'll see this type of close to the floor, behind the player, sort of camera views. And why do they do this? Well, first, it's to generate hype and show off the graphics. Secondly, if they show the dynamic wide camera the, or the game camera, people will notice the tiniest of details and highlight any errors which only creates bad, uh, <laughs> bad publicity. <laughs> so can we gain anything from watching the trailer? Well, honestly, not that much. Even if they did provide a dynamic wide typical game cam, you'll never know how good a football game is until the controller is in our hands. I must repeat that every single time I do one of these, but it is so, so true. So the two key points that we can take away from the trailer are graphics and animations. There are obviously other points to look at, but those two are the main factors in all honesty. You know, UFL, you know, it, it really does offer a competition to Konami and EA, and that can only be good as, you know, for us as fans of football games, hoping each company pushes each other to the next level with new ideas. Much like Ronaldo and Messi competing with each other, if one or the other it didn't exist, would they really be at that higher level? I don't think they would. I think they both push each other to be better than ever before. And that's what, you know, added the added to their longevity. Remember, this is their first attempt at creating a football game. So my expectations personally are low, but I absolutely love football games, as you can probably tell. So I am definitely rooting for them. If I'm not playing football, I am playing football games. But anyway, that's pretty much it for me. Be sure to catch me at 9pm GMT on stream if you want to catch my initial reaction and thoughts on the UFL gameplay trailer. I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say, what your, uh, what your expectations are. Let me know down in the comments. Until then, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.